As long as the government has weapons that can outperform our weapons, that pretty much makes our weapons obsolete, especially when it comes to defending against the tyrant government. Now, I'm not saying we should all have nukes, that's ridiculous, and that's something that people who are against the Second Amendment would love to spit around all day. You have your Bill O'Reilly types and all that, they love to say that. But what I am saying is, we should have automatic weapons. We need bigger and better weapons to defend against their bigger and better weapons, else what's the point? If the time ever comes that people are banging on your front door with automatic weapons pressed up against their shoulders, all I'm saying is you better be one step ahead of them. The fact that I even have to sit here and state the obvious is all kind of ridiculous. What part about the Second Amendment shall not be infringed do these people not understand? Many people believe that nearly all gun legislation over the last 100 years should be reversed. Having a database of registered guns very rarely helps the police when it comes to solving murders. Yet, nearly all tyrannical governments from the past have used registration lists to confiscate guns. Why should we allow gun laws such as the Gun Control Act of 1968 to have power over our rights when that very same bill was clearly copied from the Nazi Weapons Law of 1938? Yes. When a comparison of the two bills are made, it becomes obvious that the bill signed by Lyndon Johnson in 1968 was copied in some places, word by word, from the very legislation that the Nazis came up with exactly 30 years earlier. The occasional mass shooting spree is extremely unfortunate, and some would say that the media attention these rare events get are even more disturbing, but it is something that we must tolerate when it comes to preserving our freedoms. Freedoms that protect us from a government that is willing to kill tens of millions of its own citizens if given the chance. It is a very small sacrifice that is essential when it comes to preserving the overall stability of our civilization. Just to put these events into perspective, there is a 1 in 110 chance that a person will die from a car accident in their lifetime. The odds of dying in a mass shooting in a public area in a person's lifetime is 1 in 384,000. If our government becomes like so many governments of the past that kills its own people, the odds of that government killing one of its own citizens is greater than 1 in 15. These are extremely interesting yet complicated times that we live in, but we must do everything that is in our power to do, at the very least so we can say we gave it our best shot. I have listed ways that you can help below in the description box. The most important thing you can do is to call your senator and congressman every day to remind them of their duty to protect our rights and liberties. Call the number on your screen and tell them that you want to speak to your senator. When you are done, hang up and call them again and ask to speak to your congressman. If you do not know who your senator or congressman are, then simply providing the operator with your zip code should be sufficient. Make sure to call that phone number back for each one of your congressmen. I should add that it is not considered spam or harassment when you call every day and your opinion does get counted. In fact, the secretaries tally the topics of the callers every day giving a total summary of concerns to the representatives, and they only respond to our concerns when they receive them in numbers and only when they see them day after day. Don't just call once to blow off some steam. Make it your job to call each and every day until the threat is no more. The UN gun talks are scheduled to resume on March 18th, 2013 and will last for 10 days. But in the meantime, Obama and Hillary will do everything they can do to restrict our gun rights so as much pressure as possible must be put on our representatives to oppose them. Many people do not know this, but our representatives consider phone calls more important than emails and faxes. In fact, I was once told for every phone call they get, it represents several people, possibly thousands who feel the same way, but never get a chance or are too lazy to call. In addition to contacting your representatives, you can also fill out the National Association for Gun Rights Petition Survey, which can be found on their website. The link for their website can be found in the description box below. Also, please share this video on as many social networks as you can. This video needs to get out there to as many people as possible, and that will only happen if you help to spread it. We still have an opportunity at peacefully diffusing this threat. But that window of opportunity is growing smaller and smaller as every day goes by. And as JFK once said, those who make peaceful revolution impossible make violent revolution inevitable.